Hi, I'm Sumita, and today I have Jana with me. And together, Jana and I will create some Easter magic. Tell me, Jana, what's your problem? Well, my problem is Easter is approaching really fast, and I have friends and family come around. I don't have a lot of time, and I don't want to spend too much money. So, what can I do to still make it an enjoyable event? Wonderful, yes. Easter comes quickly, doesn't yeah. it? After Christmas. So, Let's put our heads together and think about how we can celebrate Easter, you know, just with things we have lying around yeah. the house without spending oodles of money. Join us. me that you want to celebrate Easter yeah. and use what's lying around the house you know without having to buy too many things exactly. so would you expand a little bit on what your thoughts are yeah I was wondering because I have family coming around for Chris uh, for Easter and it's just after Christmas I have all this chocolate laying around yeah I don't want to really buy any things I don't want to spend too much money yeah yeah so. it comes pretty quickly doesn't it yeah, after it Christmas yeah so let's see what we can do with leftover chocolates. So I have Perfect. quite a stash here. So these are chocolates that are left over. Yeah. I even have the wrappers. So we'd probably heat some water and we would kind of create a double boiler. Yeah. And well, that's we'd, a great idea. Yeah, and that and we'll so these are kind of a medley of different kinds of chocolates so you can unwrap Perfect, the yeah. chocolates once the chocolates melted then you can scoop it into it's into molds like this I don't have a bunny mold, but I do have the fish and the butterfly. So I have got nearly a dozen new chocolates out of those, the few melted chocolates that we used. So we can put it in the freezer. And leave it to set. We have put the chocolates in the double boiler. What are we left with? Lots of wrappers. Lots of plastic, yeah. Yeah, lots of plastic. And with plastic, if you end up with plastic, use it as long as you can. Yeah. Okay. So let's see what we can do with plastic, plastic wrappers. With the wrappers, let's make some flowers out of discarded wrappers this could be for the the easter table yeah that's a know. great idea yep so just 
So that's a pattern that I have just about made. So that's your first pattern. So Very nice. keep making patterns. Or there's another option and that, that's what yeah, that's what I'd use for the center, you know, the pistil. You remember the froggle, the chocolate? Mm -hmm. So now it's become the pistil for the recycled flour. Or you can take some, yeah, that's perfect, very pretty. <laughs> Close-up of how you can make flowers or floral decorations out of chocolate wrappers or leftover gift wrapping paper. What I have here is some gift wrapping paper leftover from Valentine's Day. So what I would do is I would cut out a rectangle. Fold it from the middle, fold the corners, fold the corners yet again, pinch the two sides and Staple them or you can use hot glue gun. There you go. Your petals ready. So you'll end up with several petals. Now obviously you wouldn't want the staple pins to show and for that cut out two circles from some leftover paper so I am using the recycled handmade paper that we use for wrapping our clients orders so this paper is made out of textile waste. So here you are, the big circle and the smaller circle. All you need to do is place your petals on the big circle and place the circle, the small circle in the center. So your floral decoration is ready and now you can put the floral decoration on a skewer. Now with muesli bar wraps you have a shiny inside so make use of that and make shiny flowers. So you've got a rectangle here. Now I'll make the fringes.
cut a piece of wire give your fringed wrapper a nice twirl secure with the wire and cover the wire with a little bit of green masking tape you can even use aluminium foil so all the flowers that you see here they've been made from aluminium foil so here you are your fringed flower from leftover muesli bar wrapper is ready and these ones have been made out of aluminium foil chocolate toppers you know create the easter vibe yeah okay so for that i have drawn an easter bunny so I just Your Easter Bunny template is ready and we would cut out a few more depending on corresponding to how many chocolates you have. You know your recycled chocolates from all the melted chocolate. So here you go and get your kids probably to color the Easter bunny maybe maybe it's it's kind of brown you can make it more colorful if you want and the mud bunny needs some googly eyes Now your bunny is ready to go. Fix your bunny on a toothpick. Make use of glue <coughs> or hot glue gun. If you have a hot glue gun, you can make use of that. And fix your bunny onto the toothpick. Or if you want a tall chocolate topper, make use of a barbecue skewer. Now for some colorful placemats. Mm -hmm. I have this bag. Yeah. Which is kind of, you know, a travel it's, bag. Yeah. it's a travel bag and it's literally coming apart. Mm. Two options. I throw it in the bin or I give it a new life. Make something new out of the bag. Why not use this? to make some nice colorful placemats.
So, we can cut it out first. Now, would you like to do a little bit of magic and just sure. trim the, the trim edges, the edges. edges with the pinking shears, which are my magic scissors, and then you get a nice little shape. That's a great so, idea. Yeah. You could even use a colorful piping mm -hmm. or just overlock it, say with a pink thread. But if you are time poor like me, then you can use things like pinking shears or scissors come in different shapes. So this is great and it's great for the kids. It's great. It, no, it just adds, look at this, just adds color to your table. No one would know it's a bag you yeah. were about to throw away. 